today we're talking about which album, iconic album, was better, Thriller or Purple Rain, the Purple Rain soundtrack. Entertainment 41 a podcast. The reason I selected both of these albums because these two albums right here arguably were the two albums that set it off for the 1980s for both artists. Thriller was the album in the 1980s that really just exploded Michael Jackson into a whole nother stratosphere. And you had the Purple Rain soundtrack, which literally exploded Prince into a whole different stratosphere. Obviously, you know, as the 80s progressed, MJ, Michael became the megastar, but both both of their careers kind of took a different trajectory, if you would like to say. You know, MJ's career, like I said, exploded and continued through the 1980s and into the early 1990s. And, you know, Prince's career after the Purple Rain soundtrack kind of, you know, he had other Absolutely, he had he had more bangers, more hits. But Prince's career kind of like he could never Prince could never eclipse that whole Purple Rain status that he had in 1984, 1985. So enough of the intro. Let's just jump into it, and we're gonna break this album down because ironically, both albums have nine songs on them. So we could literally go do a versus here, song for song. Which song was better? That way, we can get kind of a a more broader spectrum of which album was better if we do song for song because they both have nine tracks on them. So ironic. So I'm going to break this down song for song, one through nine, and we're going to set it off like this. Michael Jackson's no, song number one on Thriller, Wanna Be Starting Something versus Let's Go Crazy by Prince. It's just hard. I was thinking before I, I pressed the record button, before I... Kind, kindly clicked on the record button. Which song was better? I can't pick between these two songs. The only way I could really pick which song is better but is by saying when both songs come on the radio, okay, which song am I more likely to turn up the volume, crank up, and just jam out to and rock out to in the car? And I came out with Let's Go Crazy. Don't get me wrong. Want to be starting something is a whole dance anthem. But Let's Go Crazy, me personally, I'm, I'm more likely to crank up Let's Go Crazy in the car. I can remember that video being so amazing. I remember being so young, standing on top of the furniture, playing the air guitar like I was printing. When he broke out into that solo, kind of like that solo towards the end, right before the song got ready to come into its conclusion. So I'm going with Let's Go Crazy. That's one for Prince. Baby Be Mine, number two, versus the uh, one, of, one of Prince and Apollonia. I mean, this song brought Apollonia into the whole musical spectrum. And it, if it wasn't for Purple Rain, and if it wasn't for this song in particular, you know, we wouldn't even know who Apollonio, Apollonia Cortero is and was. It, it blossomed into her having her own not only music career with Apollonia 6 and a couple solo joints she came out with, but it also blossomed into her acting career. So Take Me With You versus A Baby Be Mine. And the Take Me With You, obviously, is the duet with Prince. This is hard, y'all, but I got to go with Baby Be Mine. The way Michael smoothly comes on over that smooth disco sounding track. This is hard. It's like putting a gun to my head, but I'm going with the Baby Be Mine. So that's one for Michael. Track three, The Girl Is Mine with Paul McCartney versus The Beautiful Ones. Hands down, I'm taking The Beautiful Ones by Prince. That's like one of my all time favorite Prince slow jams, Prince song, it's Prince songs. I mean, every time I think of that song, I think of the, the iconic. I'm using. I'm gonna use that word a lot because we're talking about two legends here. But I remember the movie Purple Rain and when Prince was performing that song, spilling his heart out to Apollonia, saying, "Do you want him or do you want me? Because I want you." And Apollonia was sitting there at the club at the table, crying with Morris Day right across from her in the club. And it's ooh, go go watch Purple Rain after you check this video. I might watch Purple Rain so after this video after I finish. But anyway, yeah, we got the beautiful ones now. Track four on both albums, Thriller versus Computer Blue. Whew. Computer Blue is also one of my favorite Prince songs, uh, but I got to go with Thriller. Thriller was the song that literally put Michael into superstar status with the video, this, the horror in the video, the, the whole dead coming alive, the zombie 
the zombies in the video, thriller. I mean, you gotta go with thriller. I mean, as much as I love Computer Blue, you gotta go with thriller. Gotta go with thriller. So that's another one for MJ, number five. Track five on both albums. Beat it versus Darling Nikki. Knew a girl named Nikki. Darling Nikki, I love that track. I have always loved that song since the. 80s, the suggestive, ex, not explicit lyrics, but the very sensual, uh, ex, not explicit, but the sensual sexual lyrics that Prince was using in Darling Nikki. Even though I love Nikki, Nikki, I love you. Darling Nikki, I love you. Gotta go and beat it. That Eddie Van Halen on the, on, on the guitar riff, and then that solo on there, which Eddie Van Halen didn't do the solo, but he did the iconic once again, I'm using the word iconic, the iconic guitar riff. So you got to go with Beat It. And plus, the song is, is amazing. The song is classic. Six, track six, Billie Jean versus When Doves Cry. Whew, this is really pulling, this is pulling at my heartstrings, y'all. Billie Jean is not my lover. I mean, Billie Jean was, I mean, just the, this, just the instrumental alone, just the instrumental to Billie Jean alone will have you in a zone and... She's just a girl who claims that I am the one, but the kid is not my son. I think that every man can relate to that at some point in their life. Billie Jean versus When Doves Cry. Gotta give it to When Doves Cry. I mean, that song right there, the video was iconic. The video was legendary. It was really the song that really put the Purple Rain soundtrack on the map. Actually, if you think about it, when you know when you think of Purple Rain, you think of When Doves Cry. Human Nature versus I Would Die For You. Human Nature. Human Nature, hands down. Human Nature was just breathtaking. That song was breathtaking and it's been sampled by so many artists over the last 35 years. So Human Nature, definitely. PYT versus track eight on both albums. PYT, Pretty Young Thing versus Baby I'm A Star. PYT, PYT right there. That song was, it's nothing you can say. Pretty young thing. Lady in my life, that beat. Oh my God, just the opening of that song would have me fainting on this floor right here. Uh, Lady in my life versus one of the song that Prince is probably known for uh, when you, you know, another song. When you think of Prince, this is probably the song that he's known for the most. The song that sums his career up, you know, Purple Rain. I mean, that was the name of the movie, Purple Rain. But I have to give it to Lady In My Life by MJ. That song is just six tracks off a of thriller that I love more than the three tracks that I picked that I loved off of Purple Rain. So this was higher. You had Quincy Jones on the production with Prince. Then you had Prince on the production doing his thing. The producer extraordinaire. He is playing all the live instrumentation along with the revolution. As much as I love Purple Rain, the soundtrack, MJ, you know, MJ Thriller album is, you know, the superior album. Enough of my talk. Please let me know what you have to think in the comments section. Thank you for watching the Evil One Entertainment Forum podcast. I will check y'all later. Peace.